Hi, I'm Matt Dwyer. Today I'm playing my AR372CE made by our good friends at Eastman Guitars. Uh, I'm going to put my PayPal details at the bottom of the screen. So if you're enjoying the lessons and you'd like to help out monetarily, that'd be pretty cool because it helps keep the lessons going. Now, last lesson I was talking about major seven chords and how just using that C chord and taking your finger off makes it a major seven chord. Now, there's only one or two other shapes that I use to make major seven chords. Another one is using the F chord. Now, like I said last time, whenever I'm working on newer chords, to simplify it for myself, I go back to playing the cowboy chords and working up from there. Now, another way of playing a major seven chord is that F chord, which is sort of Mel Bay book one kind of a chord. Now, once again, you, you might see F major seven and think that looks a bit tricky or sounds a bit tricky, but in actual fact, it takes fewer fingers to play it. This is an F chord or F major chord. This is an F major seven chord. Now all I'm doing there is with the regular F, you bar the top two strings at the first fret. All I'm doing is taking my index finger off the high E string and leaving the E string open. So we've got three, two, one, open. And we've got an F major seven chord. And there's our root note right there. Now, if you see on a chart or in a song or something like that, if you see A flat major seven, well, when I was getting into jazz and getting into these more exotic sounding chords, it was really confusing because they just looked hard. You know, you see A flat major seven, you think that sounds tricky, but it's a lot easier than you think because all we can do there, all we have to do there is take that chord, there's our root note, find an A flat on the D string, which just happens to be there, and play exactly the same chord, but we're, we're putting our index finger there. So there's an F major seven. Knowing that means that you can play a major seven chord using a different inversion in any key. So you can use that as a bar chord or a movable chord as long as you get the root note right. So that's a B flat major seven. That's a C major seven. It's just all about, it's just like using that E chord and using that as a bar chord. It's just using a different shape. It's just a different bar chord that you're playing if you think of it like that. So, we've now got two ways using the C shape and the F shape of playing a major seven chord in every key. So just using two finger shapes, we've got a major seven chord in all 12 keys. So that's 24 different chords using two different shapes, which is pretty cool. Now, without getting into a jazz standard, I'm going to show you something that's really cool using those two shapes. Using the C major seven, that nice breezy, it's a very summery kind of chord. So there's our C major seven, and there's an F major seven. Three, two, one, open. Okay? Now, let me know if this sounds familiar. See, you can take a walk on the wild side using those simple major seven chords. Thanks for watching. There'll be more lessons soon. 
Enjoy that. See you next time.